there are a number of treatments available to help you manage and control your diabetes. Everybody is different, so treatment will vary depending on your own individual needs. If you have type 1 diabetes, you will need to treat the condition with insulin, whereas if you have type 2, you may initially be able to manage your condition with diet and exercise. Your GP or healthcare professional can help you find the right treatment to suit you and your lifestyle. Type 2 diabetes is a progressive condition, and over time you may need medication to help manage your blood sugar levels. Find out more about diabetes tablets and medication. Everyone with type 1 diabetes, and some people with type 2 diabetes, need to take insulin to control blood sugar levels, also called blood glucose levels. Find out more about insulin. An alternative to injecting with a pen, an insulin pump can help improve diabetes control and give you more flexibility when managing the condition. Find out more about insulin pumps. If you have type 1 diabetes, a nilet cell transplant may be available to you, and could stop you experiencing severe hypos. Find out more about nilet cell transplants. For many years, a variety of obesity surgery procedures applied to the stomach or intestine have been used as a method of losing weight. Recently, various studies have found that this can help to put type 2 diabetes into remission. Find out more about weight loss surgery. Adherence to a diabetic diet is a critical aspect of controlling blood sugar in people with diabetes. When considering an ideal diabetic diet, a number of factors must be taken into consideration, including the amount and type of carbohydrates consumed as well as the amount of fiber, fat, and protein contained in foods. Glycemic index and glycemic load are further considerations. Foods with low glycemic index and load raise blood sugar more slowly than high glycemic index, low foods. Glycemic index refers to a standardized measurement, while glycemic load takes a typical portion size into account. The total daily calories are evenly dividing into three meals, with snacks for youth with type 1 diabetes. Over the past two years that ADA has lifted the absolute bang on simple sugars for people with diabetes. Small amounts of simple sugars are now allowed when consumed with a complex meal. Weight reduction and exercise are important treatments for type 2 diabetes. Weight reduction and exercise increase the body's sensitivity to insulin, thus helping to control blood sugar elevations. Warning, all the information below applies to patients who are not pregnant or breastfeeding. At present the only recommended way of controlling diabetes in women who are pregnant or breastfeeding is by diet, exercise, and insulin therapy. You should speak with your healthcare professional if you are taking these medications, are considering becoming pregnant, or if you have become pregnant while taking these medications. A preferred drug can provide more than one benefit, for example, lower blood sugar and control cholesterol. Cost of drug therapy is relatively small compared to costs of managing chronic complications associated with poorly controlled diabetes. Varying combinations of medications can control diabetes. Newer medications allow tailoring of treatment options to meet individual needs. Not every patient with type 2 diabetes will benefit from every drug, and not every drug is suitable for each patient. Patients with type 2 diabetes should work closely with their healthcare professionals to achieve an approach that provides the greatest benefits while minimizing risks and adverse events. People with diabetes must remember the importance of diet and exercise.